Hey everyone, it's Ellen. Today we're diving into the world of ADHD. It stands for Attention Deficit Hyperactivity Disorder. It's more common than you might think. ADHD is a brain difference. It affects how people pay attention, control impulses, and stay focused. Imagine your brain is like a busy train station. Thoughts and ideas are like trains constantly coming and going. For someone with ADHD, it's like the train conductor is having a hard time directing the traffic. Trains might arrive late, leave early, or even jump the tracks. This can make everyday life a bit more challenging. But here's the good news. With understanding and support, people with ADHD can thrive. We're going to break down the signs, bust some myths, and share some helpful tips. So let's get started. ADHD can look different in different people. It's not a one-size-fits-all kind of thing. Some people might be more hyperactive, while others might be quieter and have trouble focusing. Let's take a closer look at some common signs. Forgetfulness. Ever walk into a room and forget why you're there? People with ADHD experience this more often. Relationship issues. ADHD can make it tricky to navigate social cues and manage emotions. Fatigue. Feeling exhausted even after a good night's sleep. ADHD can drain your energy. Disorganization. Piles of clutter and missed deadlines can be signs of ADHD struggles. These are just a few examples. Remember, everyone's experience with ADHD is unique. Section 5. Fatigue, Motivation, and Focus. Navigating the ADHD Energy Maze. Ever feel like you're running on empty, even after a full night's sleep? Fatigue is a common symptom of ADHD. It can make it difficult to find the motivation to start tasks, let alone finish them. Focusing can feel like an impossible task when your brain is constantly buzzing with thoughts. It's like trying to read a book in a noisy room. You might find yourself getting easily distracted, procrastinating, or switching between tasks without finishing any of them. But don't despair. There are ways to boost your energy and improve your focus. Start by establishing a regular sleep routine and eating a healthy diet. Exercise can also do wonders for your energy levels and focus. Section 6. Hyperfocus and Restlessness. Two sides of the same coin. Here's an interesting paradox about ADHD. While it can make it hard to focus on everyday tasks, it can also lead to hyperfocus, a state where you become intensely focused on a single task. This is when you become completely absorbed in something you find interesting, often to the exclusion of everything else, losing track of time and surroundings. It's like your brain goes into overdrive and you can spend hours completely engaged in an activity, often achieving a lot in a short period. While hyperfocus can be beneficial for creative pursuits and hobbies, it can also lead to neglecting responsibilities or losing track of time, causing issues in other areas of life. On the flip side, restlessness is another common symptom of ADHD, making it hard to stay still or concentrate. You might feel the need to constantly move, fidget, or tap your feet, which can be distracting and frustrating. This restlessness can be distracting for both you and those around you, making it difficult to focus on tasks at hand. Finding healthy outlets for this excess energy, like exercise or engaging activities, is important. Physical activities can help manage restlessness and improve focus. Section 7. Impulsivity and its consequences. Acting in the heat of the moment. Impulsivity is another hallmark of ADHD, it's like your brain has a go button that gets stuck sometimes. You might interrupt conversations, blurt out thoughts without thinking, or make rash decisions. This can lead to challenges in various aspects of life, from social interactions to financial management. It's important to develop strategies for managing impulsivity, such as practicing mindfulness, taking a moment to pause before reacting, and seeking support from therapists or coaches. Remember, everyone makes mistakes. The key is to learn from them and develop coping mechanisms to prevent similar situations from arising in the future. With practice and support, you can gain better control over your impulses. Section 8. Debunking ADHD Myths, Separating Fact from Fiction. There are a lot of misconceptions surrounding ADHD and these myths can be harmful. Let's debunk some of the most common myths and set the record straight. Myth number 1. ADHD is just a lack of discipline or willpower. Wrong. It's a neurological difference, not a choice or a character flaw. People with ADHD aren't lazy or unmotivated. Their brains just work differently, requiring different strategies. 
Myth number two, medication is the only solution for ADHD and it's a quick fix. Not true. While medication can be helpful for some, it's not a magic cure-all or the only option. Therapy, lifestyle changes, and coping mechanisms are also crucial for managing ADHD effectively and holistically. Myth number three, people with ADHD are unintelligent or incapable of success in life. Absolutely false. ADHD doesn't define intelligence or potential. Many with ADHD excel in various fields. In fact, many people with ADHD possess unique strengths, such as creativity, out-of-the-box thinking, and a passion for their interests, which can lead to great achievements. It's time to ditch these harmful stereotypes and embrace the diversity of the human brain, celebrating neurodiversity in all its forms. Section 9. Strategies for Success. Practical Tips for Managing ADHD. Living with ADHD can be challenging, but it's definitely manageable with the right strategies. Here are some practical tips to help you stay organized, focused, and on top of things in your daily life. Embrace the power of lists. They can be your best ally. Write down everything from grocery lists to daily tasks and even long-term goals. It's like giving your brain a helping hand, making sure nothing slips through the cracks. Use a planner or calendar to keep track of your schedule. Schedule appointments, deadlines, and even fun activities to ensure a balanced life. Visual reminders are your best friend. They help you remember important tasks. Break down large tasks into smaller, more digestible chunks to make them manageable. It makes them less overwhelming and easier to tackle. Create a designated workspace for your activities. Having a clutter-free zone can minimize distractions and significantly boost your focus. Remember, it's all about finding what works best for you. Everyone is different. Experiment with different strategies and don't be afraid to ask for help when you need it. Support can make a big difference. Section 10. Finding Support and Building a Positive Mindset Living with ADHD can sometimes feel like a solo journey, but it doesn't have to be. Surrounding yourself with a supportive network is crucial. Talk to your loved ones, friends, or family members about your experiences. Share your challenges and celebrate your triumphs. Consider joining support groups or online communities where you can connect with others who understand what you're going through. Remember, you are not alone. Building a positive mindset is also essential. Focus on your strengths, celebrate your accomplishments, and practice self-compassion. ADHD is a part of who you are, but it doesn't define you. Section 11. Embrace your unique brilliance living a fulfilling life with ADHD. So there you have it, folks. We've explored the world of ADHD from its common signs and debunked myths to practical management tips and the importance of support. Remember, ADHD is not a life sentence. It's a different way of experiencing the world. Embrace your unique strengths, celebrate your individuality, and never stop reaching for your dreams. With the right strategies, support, and a dash of self-love, you can live a fulfilling and meaningful life, ADHD and all.